good morning good morning students so today uh, i'm going to show you oxygen administration or uh, you can call it as oxygen therapy so uh, oxygen therapy is nothing but it is a therapeutic technique uh, of administration of oxygen to those patients who needs who requires oxygen like uh, hypoxia hypoxemia or sinuses in those conditions we need to administer oxygen so uh, for giving oxygen we need uh, two oxygen sources like first one is oxygen cylinder and another one is oxygen wall attached uh, humidifier and now we are not uh, having oxygen wall attached uh, humidifier so i will show you uh, from oxygen cylinder so these are the parts of oxygen cylinder the main part of oxygen cylinder which uh, the uh, down part which is which looks like bottle is humidifier which we have to fill water uh, and the upper part, part is flow meter here we have to adjust how much we required uh, for example 2 liter or 3 liter or 4 liter we have to adjust uh, whichever the patient is needed and uh, this is the oxygen cylinder so we have to take care of this oxygen cylinder while handling as well as uh, while keeping also why because oxygen is um, a gas which aggravate the fire not uh, oxygen is not a combustible gas which is uh, not an flammable gas but it will aggravate fire so we have to label it uh, with a paper on the oxygen cylinder so that no one can smoke uh, or no one can uh, fire or no one can light any kind of fire near the oxygen cylinder and also we have to keep the oxygen cylinder in a metal cage like this so we will start uh, the oxygen therapy procedure so uh, there are um, three main uh, oxygen therapy first one is through nasal prong or nasal cannula so first of all we have to wash our hand before starting the procedure as I already washed my hand and we have to connect this tube to the oxygen source that is oxygen cylinder like this we have to oxygen is coming or not as we can feel it here so after checking if the uh, oxygen is coming then we have to put in the patient's nostril like this and then we have to adjust the This nasal prong we have to adjust at the patient's comfortable level and uh, after giving after um, uh, applying this nasal prong we have to check uh, uh, whether any uh, scar mark or any injury is uh, occurring or not in the patient's nostril and uh, not only after uh, administration even after uh, this procedure also frequently we have to check whether any injury is occurring or not whether the nostril is dry or not we have to check so this is about nasal cannula nasal prong and next we will see another method which is through oxygen face mask so i'll remove this So this oxygen mask also same procedure the initial procedures will be same like uh, we have to connect the tube here and then we have to adjust the desired uh, oxygen level and 
Here also we have to check whether the oxygen is coming or not by keeping our uh, hand on this. If the oxygen is coming, then we have to put on the patient's face like this. And then we will adjust the lace here. It should not be too tight or it should not be too loose. And we, we will ask the patient whether it is comfortable or not. Like this, we have to give. And this is about the uh, facial mask. Now, we will see another method. This is called oxygen hood. So this is only for infant, not for adults. This is only for infant. So here also same uh, like we have to same like previous method, we have to connect the tube here and then we have to adjust the flow meter, the desired uh, level we have to keep here and then we have to keep this hood on the, ba uh, on the baby's head, on the uh, infant's head. So like this, we can give the oxygen to infants. So this is only for uh, infants. And after procedure, for in, for this uh, uh, for oxygen food, we should be very careful. Unlike uh, adult patients, they will not be able to say uh, any means any uncomfortableness or anything. They, they will not able. They will not be able to say. That is why we have to observe very closely. We have to monitor the uh, infant patient frequently whether uh, any injury or any dislocation of the um, hoop is occurring or not. So this is about the oxygen therapy.